Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Dirt Green Steel. So uh, this morning, Dad and I have been working in the shop and made some serious progress. We have floor space again. Uh, we got the MC moved in to the new addition. Uh, luckily, it fits between the posts real nice and plenty of room. Well, it's got plenty of room to roll in there. So uh, this is where I'm going to be working on it now. And uh, we were going to put the 720 here between these posts, but the problem is, is it lacks an inch and a half of going between the posts right now. So uh, to narrow it up, we're going to have to unbolt the rims and move them in. But as you can see from the calcium chloride in these rims, uh, they're pretty nasty. So uh, we're not going to do that because we're afraid if we start messing with them, we're going to end up making them leak and we are planning on getting brand new rims for it so uh we're just going to leave that alone for now so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to finish cleaning this corner out and uh we're just going to set it in the corner here uh because this is i'm going to end up making this basically my youtube work area i'm going to get some more lights and put on these two posts here so that i can really brighten it up in this corner and then we're eventually going to do leds in the ceiling like we did in the new edition so gonna work on getting some better lighting because i've had some viewers tell me that uh, the lighting definitely helps so uh that's where we're at there and uh doc was asking me about the little john deere wagon this little john deere wagon my uh dad and his uncle jerry which would be my great uncle uh they built this wagon together um it's an old lawnmower frame he built it back when dad was in his uh teens i believe i think he was like 13 or 14 they built this wagon and it's not actually a real john deere wagon but it looks like a miniature john deere wagon it's got all wooden sides john deere decals on it and uh what we used it for was uh mom and dad have a corn burner and uh dad would put corn in it for the corn burner and back it in mom's garage and then come out and scoop the corn out of it well loaded it's a pretty heavy load for it and uh then every time we need to get corn we'd have to pull it out to the hoop building get corn out of our way wagon and put in it well when the when it's frozen out and there's tracks from the heavy equipment out back. It's just kind of a real rough ride for the wagon. And we were afraid of breaking it. So what we done was we took a tote tank and we cut it off. We made a steel frame under it with caster wheels on it. We carry it out, fill it with the bobcat, and then bring it back and roll it in their garage. And then dad can roll it wherever in the garage he needs to go. And it holds like uh, 120 pounds more shell corn than this wagon does. So it lasts them a little longer between Phillips. So uh, basically what we're going to do with this wagon now is, since it's got a lot of history, uh, we are going to actually probably, we've been working on ideas of doing it, we're going to make this our office break room uh, conference table. We're going to make a 4x8 top for it, and uh, we're going to make it hinged also so we can put like extra books and stuff that we don't use all the time. We'll flip the lid open, or tabletop open. We'll put our books and stuff in there and then close it, and then it'll just serve as our table. So uh, in that way, it'll preserve it because it's got a lot of memories with it. Dad used to pull it up and down the road with his best friend in it behind his garden tractors and stuff. So uh, Dad wants to preserve it. So it's a cool built little wagon. I remember when I was little playing with it, uh, Grandma Gloria always used it around the yard and stuff and I know she put uh, pea gravel all the way around their new house using this little wagon. She'd go get the pea gravel out of the grain truck, out of the green door, put it in a little wagon, wash the pea gravel, and then she'd take it and shovel it around the house. So little wagons handle a lot of stone in its day too. So, but anyways, uh, at some point this morning, Mercury from Harding's Heavy Equipment is going to drop off my ditch bucket. So uh, at some point, we're going to unload that today. So And we're going to keep working here in the shop. I'm going to get the 720 moved around. And then 
maybe this afternoon I'll uh, get back started working on the three-point hitch arms for that and get them finished up and get them on the tractor and get them in the category two position with the sway blocks so we'll see how far I get today so we'll take a little video later on today and see where we're at well there she is my new bucket has arrived man I can't wait to dig with it sweet it's got a bolt on cutter edge so when it wears out just burn the bolts off the torch if you can't get them out get new bolts flip the cutter edge around you've got a whole new cutter edge for a while that's nice i like it tag bucket seven foot very nicely built i really like it can't wait to get uh pins in it i got a set of pins i'm gonna throw in it Ooh, i like these Put lifting shackles in there if you want to lift something or pull something. That's nice. I like it. So, uh, thanks to uh, Dave from Hardings Heavy Equipment. I was able to get this bucket. And uh, Mercury uh, from Hardings delivered it this morning. So, uh, we're going to get it unstrapped and get it off the truck. And I'm going to see if I can uh, find my pins and my old brush mower. Going to get the pins put in it and maybe put it on the hoe this afternoon and see how it looks on there so it's got a nice profile that's that's one thing i was worried about for uh, smaller narrow ditches but this thing's gonna be sweet up we decided we're going to put the 720 up in that corner uh, that way we've got uh, plenty of open floor space in this area right here so uh, when I do bring the excavator in to do that uh, track tensioner I'll be able to get on that side of it with the Bobcat to uh, um, get the track on and off so uh, but that's gonna be it for today's episode I didn't quite get as far as I wanted to but uh, we had some visitors today, and we stopped, and we talked for a while, which nothing wrong with that. So, But uh, anyways, uh, since it is New Year's Eve, uh, I just want to wish everyone a happy New Year. And uh, everybody go out and have fun, stay safe, and uh, watch some of my videos if uh, you're not going out tonight. Uh, it would be an exciting thing to do. But... Uh, so I'm going to call it a day because Jess is off work. So I'm going to go home and spend time with her this evening and uh, come back and we'll uh, do some stuff tomorrow. So I am going to work New Year's Day. Um, there's not much going on. So just going to come here and piddle around with some stuff. I One goal I wanted to do today and I didn't get to it was I was going to do some measuring and start... Uh, making some uh, battery cables for the great all because i've got the two batteries over there i've got four buckets of oil over there for it and uh my uh battery cable came in for it i got a roll of black and i got a roll of red for it so uh i've got everything to make the new battery cables for it and uh some other wiring that I need fixed before it'll run so I was at least going to try to get it to turn over today. But uh, that's all right. There's always tomorrow. So uh, if you like this episode of Dirt and Rain Steel, you want to keep following my projects into the new year, I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, been gaining subscribers every day, and I'd like to welcome all the new ones. Thank you for uh, subscribing to the channel. I hope there's something on here that you're going to enjoy. And uh, stick around for a while and you'll uh, see some good videos so there's a lot to come uh coming into the new year we got a lot of projects going on 
Uh, got this ditch bucket. We got to get the pins put in, get it put on the X square and try it out and uh, take it to a project that they have been patiently waiting on me to get finished up for them. But I was really hoping to have it done before Christmas, but it just took so long to get this bucket because of the COVID and all that stuff. So anyways, if you like this episode, like I said, give me a subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next one.